Hi guys, Ryan here. Today I have a new haul video for you guys and this is going to be for the month of May 2023. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I went to Barnes & Noble today and I picked up Apple Black Volumes 1 and Volume 3. I was hoping that they would have Volume 2, but they didn't have it there, so I'll have to order it online. But as far as like impressions go, I adore the art style. The character designs are fantastic. From what I've read so far, has great world building. And we have Sano, the main character. And yeah, this is an awesome front cover for sure. And I'm gonna make some reviews for every single volume for Apple Black. So look out for that. But yeah, we have Sano and his teacher slash mentor there, taking him on with a test of sorts. But yeah, this is published by Saturday AM. So yeah, they have Saturday AM and then Saturday PM for older audiences. And then younger audiences for Saturday AM, basically. But yeah, there's like color pages in here, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, there's one right there. It has an amazing art style. And it reminds me a lot of Bleach, the art style, but it's its own art style in itself. So yeah, that is volume one and story and art is done all by one creator. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's volume one. The front, side, and back. And then it also kind of reminds me of One Punch Man, the art style on the on the covers. So we have volume three with the red haired red jacket kind of character. So yeah, I started reading the first volume and I'm about halfway through it at this point in time. All right, and then the thing that I got previous, previously from Amazon and um, last time I got these box sets, um, they were like 45 to 50% off on Amazon, which is a great deal. So, yeah, I got the first manga box set for Demon Slayer. The only manga box set, because it tells the whole story from start to finish. You get the whole story, essentially. So that's pretty neat. So yeah. That's 23 volumes added to my collection for Demon Slayer. So, I also got this Demon Slayer art book this month. So yeah, can't wait to flip through it, make a video on it once I'm done reading Demon Slayer. But we have Tanjiro on the front. So we have Tanjiro on the front of this art book and then Nezuko on the back, the two siblings. I also got this Naruto art book and yeah, it's Uzumaki Naruto illustrations. So yeah. Naruto and Sasuke on the front and back. And then the last art book that I got is the largest art book in my collection and one that I've ever seen available for manga anyways. And that is Haikyuu Endings and Beginnings. So same thing for this, once I'm done reading Haikyuu I'm going to make a video flip through it, giving my thoughts on the series and the illustrations in general. So we have Hinata on the front. And then we got Tobio on the back with a nice night sky. So yeah, this has 400 pages. It's hardcover. You can get it on Amazon and other places. And it's truly awesome. All right, so moving on here, I got a figure of Sabo from One Piece. So yeah, the trio, Luffy, Sabo, and Ace. 
So this is a variable action heroes mega house figure that's articulated and poseable and whatnot and it's awesome. Comes with the Muramura Devil Fruit previously owned by Firefist Ace. So yeah, great figure, great details. Definitely want to get like a turntable for my figure reviews. But yeah, awesome stuff nonetheless. And then next we're going to move along to the anime. So I got One Piece episode of East Blue. This tells the story of the, uh, the five straw hats here and they're kind of stories in the East Blue Saga, but it is reanimated. They cut out any filler and they just get straight to the, to the action. So yeah, fantastic. I really enjoyed watching it. Then we have episode of Sky Peel, which I have not seen, but I imagine it'll be just as good quality if not better in this reanimated kind of movie telling the story of Skypea with Enaru. And then I watched this recently episode of Sabo which retells the story in the Dressrosa arc, not the whole story but part of it with a Sabo and Luffy and their backstory and whatnot and Dressrosa and everything that happens in it. Truly awesome, I would highly recommend watching this. And we have a fantastic deal here with the four Bleach movies. So cool, such a great deal. So I've looked at, it, at these movies in the past and I was thinking about picking them up, but now that I've gotten this version, I'm definitely glad I did because I got all four films for Bleach. And Fade to Black, the third movie is my favorite of the four. And I think I've seen the second one, definitely seen the first and the third and fourth, but I think it's been the longest since I've seen the second movie, so I'm going to have to re-watch it. That should be fun. And then as far as video games go, I got Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Cannot wait to start playing this. And I got it for the PS5. It's a PS5 exclusive. And I played the one on the PS4 just called Ratchet and Clank, which was like a remake and a remaster, like a reimagining actually. Yeah, that's the word. So yeah, this is a continuation from that. It takes well use of the PS5 and its power and capability. So yeah, I think it's hard to pick a favorite, but I I've really been enjoying Apple Black. Can't wait to make reviews on every volume. So look out for that. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you got, what you guys picked up this month. And until next time, peace out.